Hello guys, and um, welcome to the channel. Uh, so, first vlog of the channel, uh, Wobble Box Crew. I thought uh, I would just do a bit of an intro and uh, let you know what's going on and uh, go from there. So, we're gonna head over to the storage yard at the moment. We're gonna sort of start looking at uh, some of the items that you wanna be checking when you are storing your caravan, either at a friend's drive or a storage yard, all these sort of uh, techniques and uh, tips are all going to apply. But again, the, the key thing here is uh, making sure that uh, your caravan remains usable and you don't suffer any uh, damages like water ingress or flat batteries or just things that you, you, is quite common just to sort of forget about once you sort of park it up for the year. Um, people that use the caravans uh, all year round, that's a bit different. Um, obviously you're examining using the, the goods within on a more regular basis but um, what I thought I'd do today is just uh, take you over uh, to the storage yard where we keep ours and uh, go over some of the items that I would say would be recommended for new people getting into caravan um, and, and in general just sort of uh, a look at what we get through so who are we so yes like I said we're the Wobble Box crew and um, we consist of myself my wife Louise and our four children and uh, that's how we got into this camping um, stuff before where my, my partner had done it previously and it was new to me and thought we'd give that a go um, and we started off with tents um, and, and slightly sort of moved up and, and worked our way into caravans over the last couple of years so uh, again that's sort of our story and I, I thought going forward some of these videos will be around what we get up to with the family um, some reviews as we go and, and so forth but um, primarily as I said before this is going to be sort of just trying to share as much information with you guys and, and hopefully you find it beneficial and useful um, and, and, and hopefully these sites as well are some that you'll visit in the future but at least it'll give you an idea of what's what's there and, and what to expect. So where do we begin? So for me, I would say the first thing to do, if it's in storage or on your drive, I would take off all your security devices because they'll need to be checked, oiled, and just make sure that they're maintained as well. Otherwise, you don't want to come back to having those sort of uh, seized up and cause you a headache later on. And also, you don't want, like a car, you don't want your caravan just sat there uh, in the same position for maybe three or four months depending on when, when you plan to reuse the uh, caravan um, it's just not good on the suspension the, the, the tires and, and the general sort of um, different parts of the caravan so the first thing I would do like I say take off all the security devices pull it out give it some movement um, check it all over um, make sure the motor movers is, is working as expected um, and, and then we can start moving on to some of the other bits that I would say is sort of crucial to check as we go along. So as I said guys, the first job for me would be to pull the caravan out. Um, the legs have been wound up, all the security devices are off, uh, motor, motor, motor mover engaged, so I'm just gonna move it forward now. Not sure if you actually heard then like with a car where it's been stood still for a while you had that clonking sound where it's starting to seize up on the brakes um, and the axle there so it is important you sort of do get on and move it where you can so one of the other areas that you should be checking is your leisure battery as well it's quite easy just to leave uh, the caravan outside whether that's in storage or at the front of your house and just forget about it but even when you think this is switched off and unplugged, it will still be uh, going flat over time. Um, these are not cheap. Again, they're sort of £150, so uh, if not more. So the, the key thing for any of these is just to make sure that these are sort of maintained throughout the, the colder months. 
whether that's uh, keeping the caravan plugged in because um, you've got uh, electric mains or whether you've got solar or whether you actually have to take the battery out uh, of the caravan and, and just check that over time. Again, if you haven't got solar, again, bring a multimeter, uh, check the voltage to see how that is. Um, if, or you can use your inside your caravan, depending on what uh, different measurement devices you've got for checking battery capacity. But one of the key areas, again, just to make sure that you keep topped up and maintained. Okay, moving on from the battery, what is gonna be sort of your, your seals around the caravan, around your windows, um, your, your electric box, Again, moving back around, you, you've got your toilet dispenser hatch there, um, and multiple hatches around your caravan, uh, and again, multiple windows. And the, again, what you should be looking for here is making sure that you've got no broken seals at all um, from the outside. If it's lifting away, again, that's sort of prime where the water ingress will happen, and before you know it, it'll start discoloring at the inside of the caravan. So. These are some of the crucial checks that you really need to be on top of and making sure that, uh, yeah, the, the key thing, water ingress does not happen. Um, again, with most of these hatches, you can access these from the inside. Uh, I'm not saying that will be the case for all caravans, but for the majority of the hatches, they'll be under the beds. And, and again, you can uh, visually be able to see what's happening. Um, but yeah, definitely worth eyeballing the different compartments just to make sure nothing is coming in. Um, if you do see that there is sort of uh, a gaps, again, depending on how bad they are, you may actually need to unscrew the uh, different bolts that's holding that in, um, reseal it completely. Um, if you've just got a slight gap in some of the uh, sealing, again, some of that way is where you can just remove that and just replace from the outer side. But it really does depend on how bad that is, but something you should be checking. So this is a prime example of the sort of thing I'm looking at is along here, these kind of bits. Um, just making sure that these are all intact, uh, as you expect to see. Um, could do a bit of a clean, but uh, <laughs> at this time of year, you're gonna, it's gonna be ex expected. But again, the same on the top of your windows, you should be looking along here, just to make sure everything is looking as you expect it. When it comes to inside the caravan, things to think about is airflow. Um, one of the crucial things here is just making sure that you have sort of your, your cupboards, uh, doors opened up. Uh, that way, uh, again, it, there's no build up of moisture potentially that, that may be uh, in and around the caravan. And again, it just maximizes that airflow. Um, that, that's one of the crucial things when it comes to the windows as well um, depending on what style of caravan you've got and what's in here you can sometimes have two you have a fly net and the actual blind itself um, for me uh, when it's in storage it's, it's just the main actual uh, blind itself I pull down uh, I keep the blind net up um, and, and that's because in the past when we first got the caravan we had them both down and we did sort of notice some of the sort of moisture and mold starting to sort of form on that. And luckily we caught that in time. So again, it didn't sort of spread. Um, but yeah, recommendation there is just to have the main, main shutter down, blind down, um, uh, and that should be enough just to keep that airflow coming through as well. Uh, the other part is obviously the, the cushions. Um, they should be sort of moved upright as well. Um, and that will depend again on the style of caravan that you've got. Um, what you're wanting to do is here is have a gap between the, the the inner skin and the actual cushions, just so again, there's that airflow happening. In this model, we've, we've got a, a, a gap built in. Um, so there is that airflow happening. Um, but yeah, something just to double check, just to see what you've got, all, all just to help. So the next space would be the, the fridge and freezer compartment. I wouldn't leave the door shut on this. Um, obviously when you finished, when you last use it, just make sure it is all completely wiped down. Um, there's no moisture before you start. And then just keep the doors slightly ajar when you store it. Just again, more airflow, stop the, the, the chance of mold building up. Um, 
only slightly, but again, just a gap slightly open there and the same with the door. Uh, it will just stop you having to come back in in the new year and just checking out that, uh, yeah, you've got multiple mold patches within your fridge and something that you could easily avoid. So something else you can do is just come into the caravan and just actually have a look around. Normally, if you've got any signs of damp, you'll be able to spot that. It will darken the, the actual color uh, of the walls. Um, you'll be able to feel um, where in some of the corners where possibly there might be more chance of build up. Um, and think about the way the roof's constructed, about the actual runs of the actual caravan, um, where they join. Obviously, you've got one at the front, one at the back down the side so again it's, it's it's those kind of things where you you can think of where potentially water ingress might happen they're the areas that is where you want to concentrate on the most as we spoke earlier with the roof windows and and vents obviously that that's the same as the windows they're going to have a ceiling around the outside so when when it's convenient obviously it's always good to have a, a ladder go up on top and actually have a look at those um, areas as well they're often forgotten because they are sort of more in awkward spaces but again sometimes you can stand uh, in your outside your main window and look up through um, but ideally you, you really need a ladder just to go up and inspect and again you're, you're looking at the joints um, where the front and the rear meet and the sides and just making sure that all that sealant and, and the tape depending on how it's constructed is intact um, but yeah very important just to have a visual around these as well so when it comes to the legs I would uh, as you would have ran them down uh, earlier to move the caravan before putting them back up it's definitely worth giving them a, a little bit of WD-40 just to make sure they stay lubricated as well and no rust starts to build up. Uh, just a, a little extra just to make sure that they, they stay in good working order. So when it comes to your security devices, again, when you're checking them over, just make sure, give it a little bit of WD-40 or some oil along those lines, along those lines, just to make sure okay, they stay lubricated and in good working order. And that should be for any devices that you've got, whether they've got wheel locks on there as well again just to apply a bit of WD-40. When it comes to the hitch it's definitely worth getting a cover just so again this is uh, stays away from the rain you do have some of the electric cables there um, and some metal parts but um, yeah just to give them that extra protection they don't start rusting yeah a bit more a little bit of WD-40 in places and uh, an actual cover for the front. Yes, so glad I've come over. So as it's raining here in the UK, as per usual at this time of the year. Um, so yeah, really good opportunity just to come in uh, and just check over a number of items. And just to recap on some of the things that we've done. Um, window seals, been around the complete caravan, including the door seals, just to make sure a visual inspection, just to see if there's any gaps and just make sure that the ceiling is in place as expected and there's no sort of cracking um, or areas where it's lifted slightly, where water ingress could happen. Um, uh, we've uh, gone and checked the 12 volt battery, uh, make sure that the, the, there is the, the right amount of charge in there. And like I said, you can either do that via multimeter or via um, the, the electronics inside the caravan depending on the, the age and the model of the caravan. Um, the wheel locks have been checked, removed, um, WD-40 again just giving that lubrication to make sure that there's no rust build up whilst uh, it's in storage. Um, uh, the roof has been checked um, and again that's just a visual outside um, using a ladder um, just to make sure that like I say the seals are either at the front in the rear or down the sides of um, uh, are intact as expected but that was something I looked at um, during the summer so I, I wasn't overly concerned but again always worth checking just in case um, the roof uh, the the blinds themselves again we've had a look at and like I said the recommendation there is to just bring down the, the main blind and not the actual netting as well because that's where moisture can build up um, so I would just recommend uh, the blind itself um, and again, the same with the seats. Again, you're, you're trying to get as much airflow throughout the caravan as possible. So again, look at the cupboards, uh, look at the seating, lift that, lift those up and just maximize that throughput as expected. Um, we touched on the fridge. Again, leave that slightly ajar, including the freezer section, 
just so again that's probably a, a real easy place where moisture can be built built up over time um, and again before you sort of uh, pack up the caravan for the year if you if you if, if you do put in storage or on the drive again just make sure it is completely dry in there um, in, in the freezer compartment before sort of uh, leaving that for the for the year um, we moved the caravan at the very beginning and again that's just to make sure that uh, uh, nothing seizes up actually on the wheel bearings and, and it's not good for the tires to be in the same place over a, a long period of time so again it's just that movement just make sure when you put it back it's slightly in a different position than when it started uh, so yes yeah, so the legs themselves again we looked at and again that is a case of just uh, when before you bring them back down just give them a bit of wd-40 and and that just again helps that to prevent that rust from building up if it if you're in that position um but yeah all good practice so hopefully that's sort of a, a nice few steps for you to check and, and if you're new to caravanning again it's just a good sort of a checklist to have when you come over it is quite easy when you finish with a caravan or any item really where you you're done for the year um out of sight out of mind well again it's the key thing there is just, it's just that maintenance it does need to be checked throughout the the, the colder months um yeah it wouldn't take long for something to happen in terms of rusting water ingress and and yeah you turn up wanting to go and use it for, for the first time towards uh 2023 and and what happens yeah you've got problems from sort of the day get go so yeah it's it's, it's, it's like anything it, it's just definitely worth your time once a month come over uh, it'll only take you sort of 10 15 minutes it won't take long but again it's definitely worth it uh once you start getting that water ingress you, you're, you're talking thousands of pounds to get that uh repaired um so yeah really preventable so yeah just some, some ideas follow these these steps uh i'll put it in the description below um any comments yeah please put them in and uh we'll take a look and, and reply to as many as we can but um yeah hope you liked our first video one of many um but uh it's to get us off the ground and uh yeah please uh like and subscribe and uh, leave us any comments and uh, we'll catch you soon.